Hi everyone, this is Fredrik Wormling again. Uh, I have a research group at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. And with these sets of videos, I'm uh, describing how to use the Gecko, sorry, the green listed uh, software, which is uh, a software that can be used to design custom CRISPR screens. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how, uh, very briefly, to how you could use the Gecko version two non-targeting feature. So non-targeting is um, actually, if you can go in here and look at it, you can see the non-targeting here. Um, this, and as, as you remember, we talk about looking at uh, a text file like this is confusing. So we can select all the information, we copy it, we go to Excel, remove information it's in there, and then I paste the data um, and you can see so so the the reference library the non-targeting reference library which is then coming from um, coming from the gecko version 2 library looks something like this so basically it's non and non the name is non-targeting control guide for human and there's the equivalent one for mouse and as you see there are thousands of these here so there's a lot of them um, and these are sequences that have been uh, selected for a uh, low chance of off-target activity. So that's how the library looks. You see, uh, basically column one here contains a name and column three contains the sequence. Um, if you then want to make a screen um, and you want to have some non-targeting, so let's say you, you, you design a screen targeting uh, differentially expressed genes that you identified in some, kind of, some assay, and then you're thinking, oh, it would be good to have some kind of non-targeting controls here. Then you can actually use this here. You can go in here and you can choose the human or mouse non-targeting. Um, you could then either write the full name here or you can use some of, uh, you can actually use this allow for partial matches. So you can say non here. And since we know in this library there, there is, it's only non-targeting. So basically uh, allow for partial matches and writing non like this. Uh, there will be thousand uh, uh, gRNAs output it. Um, you could um, use ranking here. So let's say you want to have 20 non-targeting. And as, as mentioned, this is actually the ranking feature of Gecko here is actually not the ranking them based on any any uh, score or functionality. It's just if you say 20 here, it's going to take the, the first 20 ones uh, of them. Um, and then, so let's say we want to have 20 non-targeting. Um, you know, you want to put it in, um, a vector using let's say these restriction sites and then you put press run here and and we get our results and then you can see how we're getting in a list here of non turing control guide for human 20 of these and then of course one way of doing this is that you would first design your library targeting a particular uh, set of genes and then you have your uh, adapter sequences that you need and then you redo this and make a library using a non-targeting uh, so you could start by using okay you want to target a set of human genes you do uh, your, your design your, your library and then you go in and you choose a non-targeting and use the same adapter sequences you take the, the, the suggested lists of, of, of gRNAs and then you just combine them before you send them to a company. There is actually an, an, an alternative here, which would be, um, uh, which, which would be, for example, I just want to show this as an example how this could be used. Let's say that you want to target um, cytochrome P450 genes, and there's a lot of them. So, we, but we don't want to write all the names. So we, we we start using allow for partial matches. We put zip here, and then we think, oh, let's introduce also non-targeting here. And then we know for the SIP genes, there's probably going to be six GRNAs per, per, per gene. The non-targeting would be 1,000. Hmm. What if we then say we want to have 20 uh, GRNAs per, uh, per gene? Well, it couldn't make more than six for the SIP gene, so it's going to be six there. And then it's going to choose uh, 20 for the non-targeting here. So um, maybe a little bit confusing, I'm realizing, but it's, it's just showing you how when you when you start get using to this soft, software, you can use some some tricks to to for example make these uh, in, in one go. So you'll see here that we get the output we get here is 
all genes that has SIP in their name, 6 RNA per target, and then in the end, 20 non targeted controls. All right, uh, I'm going to do like this. And I'm going to finish off like that, saying so that was uh, how one can use these non targeting. Uh, the, the, the reference Gecko version to library non targeting or uh, non targeting library for making non targeting controls for your various units. Thank you.